Oh yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's the time that quite a few of you have been waiting for. A brand new Champ Manager 0102 series on the channel. Oh yes, I'm excited. Start new game. This is, just to repeat, the complete vanilla database. There's been no additions, no changes, no patches, nothing like that. So we have the likes of Toe Madeira, Zolo Makuku. Uh, I don't think Cristiano Ronaldo is actually in it, to be honest. I don't think he's yet in this game. But... There has been a, a few names that have been mentioned of clubs that, you know, you guys would like to see me manage. One was Arsenal. One was Liverpool, so we'll definitely have the English Premier League on there. Uh, there who, else, who else was mentioned? There was Valencia in Spain. Barcelona in Spain, as they've got an ageing club and it'll be good to try and turn them around. Um, Rangers in Scotland, which I did quite fancy because no one... This was at the era, 0102, where Scottish football was doing pretty well and Celtic were always getting through to the later sort of stages. Chris Sutton, Henrik Larsson, um, John Hartson, I think. No, John Hartson would have been at Wimbledon in 2001. But yeah, there's, there was lots of suggestions in there. So we're going to load up all the big leagues. So France, Germany, Italy, Spain, Scotland are going to come in there as well. No offence, Scottish, you're not that much of a big league. But you're going to be in there as well. And England. And we're going to crack into this game. And I haven't quite decided yet who to be. I think I think we're going to start in Spain because we've got two. Oh, I haven't inserted the disc. I'll be right back. And there we go. And of course, inserting the disc isn't really inserting the disc nowadays. It's mounting an ISO image um, into your PC. But I think I'm leaning towards Barcelona because I like the idea of having an ageing side and completely rebuilding it. And then it's the likes of... The players we bring in and the players that you want to see me sign will get yeah, brought up through it and we can sort of stick with them and go through it as we play. So, first off, what I want from you guys, I've got a big smile on my face just getting ready to play this game, just seeing the little bar loading up. You know when it gets to create a manager shortlist, that's the last one. But uh, I'm really keen to know with you guys what is, like, what formation should we play? Do we cheat and go for the 4 3 one, two, or the very narrow formations that you can play? Do we try and do it sensibly and pick the people? Who do we sell? Who do we want to buy? Who do bot players we want to go and look at? How much money do we want to go and spend on people? So straight away, straight from the off, leave a like if you're enjoying the video, subscribe if you're new and you love Champ Manager 102. Um, let's aim for, I don't know, 20 likes on the first Champ Manager 102 video. Um, we'll go from it. I have a Patreon as well if you want to subscribe and leave me a little. It's all in the description below. You can sign up for $1 a month and you get your name in a... My next Football Manager series in Football Manager 19, your name will be put into the game as a regenerated player. But yeah, there's lots of options to do. I want to know, first off, who do we look to buy or which players do we look at bringing in? Now, obviously, I'm going to go for Toe Madeira because it, he doesn't last very long at his club that he starts. He's a fake player. Everyone knows he's a fake player. But I'm going to go and get Toe Madeira. He's the first player I'm going to buy. Then, I'm not, it's going to be a risky manoeuvre, but I'm not going to buy anyone until next weekend. Because what we're going to do is we're going to have a first video today on Saturday. This will be coming out on Saturday at uh, mid, no, mid, midday, not midnight. Saturday midday UK time this will be coming out. And we're going to go with Barcelona. I've sort of made my mind up, we're going to go with Barcelona. Apologies for all those people that recommended a team and wanted me to see like Arsenal, Rangers, Liverpool, Valencia, things like that. Um, oh, Leverkusen would have been a good one as well. Now we'll go for Barcelona and if we start dominating completely Barcelona then we can move clubs if we want to or even start a new game if we if we want to as well. I do intend to keep Chan Mandro 102 on the channel because I know there's a lot of nostalgic gamers that love it. Um, it's still got quite a big following online as well. So this first episode we're just going to take a look at the squad. The second episode, we're going to go and look at the players, you know, the, the world-famous cheat players, as they were. Zola Makoku, Toe Madeira. Um, we'll put a bit of Toe Madeira in the first episode, so we'll look at him already. Um, and we'll, we'll look at those sort of players, your Taribo Wests. Um, we might need to put a cheeky contract in for him as well, because that they move quite quickly as well, those players. So... That's the plan, is that the first this first episode will be, we'll look at the Barcelona squad, see what we've got, see what players are there, see who remember. And then the second um, episode will be looking at all the classic players that we might want to go and try and buy. And then the third episode, which will be Saturday, a week on Saturday, will be us approaching to buy those players and getting into the league season 
as a whole and seeing what we've got here. So while we're waiting for this last little bar to go up in creating shortlists, it, I'm excited. I hope you are too. Leave a like, as I said, if you are excited and you're happy for this new series. But we'll be back as the manager of Barcelona. So here they are, FC Barcelona. We are taking control. Now, Barcelona were always a team that annoyed me in Champ Andrew 102 because they have one of the most, like, contrasting, two of the most, well, not one of the most, two of the most contrasting colours against each other's background and forefront and stuff. That when you score, it's like, ah, oh, it's a headache. But we're going to see it a lot because we're going to be scoring a lot of goals. And already looking at this team. Oh, wow, I'm... I'm excited. I am very, very excited. Now, I don't know why that's telling me to add an... Oh, finish. There we go. Um, we can delete both of these. How do I delete a game? I can't remember. I'll have to go back in and delete them later on. Barca. On Jamandra 0102. There we go. The game is saving for the first time ever. FC Barcelona have appointed cultured left foot as manager. The board want the title. And here is the fixture. So we start with Valor Deloid, Zaragoza... Um, and Athletic Bill Bow as well. So let's go and have a look at the team. Our oh, Roberto Bonanno, the 31-year-old Argentinian, is one of our goalkeeping options in goal. Looks pretty decent, to be honest. Has he got enough about him to keep out Dionis Chiotis after we sign him? Or um, Ruslan Nigamachulin? They're the two major goalkeepers I remember always trying to buy on Champ Manager. 13 caps for Argentina. So, yeah, it looks pretty good. Looks pretty healthy. I mean... I always now get confused because Football Manager lists the stats in like physical, technical, mental. This just lists them alphabetically. Why not? Why not do it alphabetically? Back Then we've got Pepe Reina, who we're obviously going to set his nickname to Pepe Reina because that's what everybody knows him as. So Pepe Reina is in there. 18-year-old youngster, Spanish, nowhere near the first team at the moment. But we have Richard Dutrell, or Dutrelli, Dutrell, I think it is. French, one cap. I mean, it looks like Bonanno is obviously our first choice goalkeeper. But, yeah, maybe a goalkeeper is a place we need to invest in. Frank De Boer, 31 years old, Dutch, 90 caps for Holland. Really good influence, captain material. Really hands down good player. Sweeper, do we want to play a sweeper? in this save who knows history wise he's been at Barcelona this is his fourth year at the club signing from Ajax where he spent all of his career before joining Barcelona Philippe Cristanaval now this guy isn't a cheap player but he is someone that is very very good in the game and you can always pick him up very very cheap from from Barcelona I think I signed him when I first started playing Champ Andrew 102 again this year for Man United and he did very well. So he's probably someone I'm actually going to try and keep around, which I'm looking forward to doing because he was always quite good, quite young as well. Um, yeah, be interesting to see how he gets on. Then we have Abelardo, who, somebody, I'll be honest, I do, do not remember Abelardo. Abelardo Fernandez, I do not remember him at all, to be honest. He looked pretty good. He does look pretty good. But 31 again, an aging player, aging side. Then we have Gabri, 22. He's gone on to do some all right things. He's been pretty good in real life. Gabri, I'm pretty sure it's the same Gabri that I'm thinking of. Um, yeah, right back, right midfielder. Looks okay. Could have some better stats in certain places. Um, his passing's not great. His pace isn't brilliant. In fact, he's a bit average, to be honest. He's a pretty much a bit average. Then we have Carlos Puyol, who at this point was just a right back. He wasn't anything else. He was just the right back. He's proud to be at Barcelona. He's an important first team player. Good stats for someone who's 23, only one cap. He had his crazy hair back then as well. Carlos Puyol is there at right back. Who else do we have around here? Michael Reisiger, the Dutch guy, centre back slash right back. Again, he was pretty good. He was a big part of the uh, Barcelona team that I remember growing up. He looks, he looks okay. Someone that we might move on though if we can get someone like a Taribo West in. Uh, and then we've got F Francesco Coco. I was going to say Filippo Coco, but that's a different person that plays for Inter Milan. Uh, Francesco Coco, Inter Milan. Uh, Inter Milan? Why have I got Inter Milan in my head? Italian, six caps, defender left, left wing back sort of position as well. 5.5 million. Again, looks pretty good and looks like we'll be able to get him involved some way or another. Sergei, the left back, Spanish. He is the starting left back in this era for Barcelona. He was very, very good. 4.4 uh, million. I really like the look of this guy. Good pace, good off the ball, good aggression, good agility, good teamwork, good work rate. He was, he'd be sort of the sort of epitome of a Pep Guardiola player nowadays, which is it's good. It's good to have someone like that in the team. 
Anderson, Patrick Anderson, 29-year-old centre-back from Sweden. Again, a bit of a stalwart at the club. Good stats, good bravery, good positioning, good determination, good anticipation. I should probably be moving the mouse as I say these so that you guys can get used to where they are. So tackling, strength is all good, teamwork, technique, work rate, all good. All good, good, good for the centre-backs and the defenders. There he is, Philippe Cucu. I did remember him. Did he play for Inter Milan or was that later on in his career? But Philippe Cucu, 30 years old, Dutch. God, the Dutch are amazing at this point. Um, again, good stats, good influence, good off the ball, good temp teamwork, technique, work rate, strength, tackling. It's all, all good. Could have a bit better at these sides, but as a defensive midfielder, you don't really need to worry about dribbling and finishing and things like that. He's here to pass the ball, which is pretty poor, and win the ball back. So marking is 13 and tackling is 14, strength 14. Not too bad at all. But again, another ageing player at the age of 30. Um, Fabio Rochenbach, uh, Brazilian. I didn't realise he had five caps by the time he was playing at Brazil at 19. We know he turns into a bit of a beast. Obviously, after this, he went on for unsuccessful spells at Middlesbrough. Um, but yeah, we know in this game he does turn into a beast. So someone we're probably going to look to build the team around. Xavi, I mean, 21. He's got to be staying in the team. And, and we know what he does in real life. We know what he became. And now he's playing in Qatar. But... He is the stalwart of the Barcelona team. Absolutely incredible footballer. Yeah, looking to build the team around him. Arteta, Spanish and Basque, joins. Uh, he had a year loan at PSG. Scored six, uh, six appearances and one goal. But, yeah, I think, again, someone we can probably look to get involved. I don't think he's a squad rotation player at the moment, so he won't be moaning too much if he doesn't get first-team football. But, uh, yeah, we will need him to improve, but generally... He's going to be someone to look for in the future, which is good. Uh, Babangida, Haruna Babangida. Someone, a pace merchant. Absolute pace merchant. Pace 19, acceleration 20, uh, good agility, all right dribbling. He's young, so we'll keep him around and give him a chance. But, uh, yeah, he's not too bad, to be honest. Not too bad as a youngster. He'll probably be down in the reserves for most of the season. What did he have? Uh, back up for the first team, yeah. So that won't annoy him too much. Giovanni. Um, Giovanni's here again, someone that we know later went on to rep represent um, Hull City, I think it was, Giovanni. But yeah, good determination, good dribbling, decent finishing. 21, Brazilian, he'll be useful to keep around, which is really, really good. Again, someone that will probably be featuring more in the reserves than the first team. Luis Enrique, 31, went on to manage Barcelona in real life. Great stats all around, but an ageing aging player again, part of this ageing team in Barcelona history. Moved from Real Madrid as well, so no love loss there. Nano, someone I don't remember. Can't imagine he went on and had a good career because I don't recognise the name Nano or Fernando Macedo. Um, I think I've got another window open here. Let's, let's go and have a look. Fernando Macedo. Fernando Macedo, Wikipedia. Is, uh, is that him? That can't be him. Born in 1994. Where's date of birth? Um, the date of birth just on this screen. Oh yeah, 82. No, it's definitely not him. This guy was born in 1994. Why would I think someone born in 1994 would be on um, would be on Chamanja 0102? Okay, let's go. We'll have to narrow this down. Fernando Mercado, Barcelona. Have I spelled? Oh, Mercado, not Mercado. Mercado. Fernando Mercado, Barcelona. Um, right, uh, he has done nothing in his career. There is nothing about him whatsoever. So I'm going to suggest he didn't do anything with his career. Let's see how he turns out in Chamandro 102. Maybe someone to keep an eye on uh, and see what happens with him. Mark Overmars, obviously 28 Dutch. Um, signed from Arsenal after a really good couple of seasons or three seasons with Arsenal. Great stats. Looking forward to having Overmars in the team. Rivaldo, don't need to say anything about Rivaldo. I mean, an unbelievable player on his day. Really, really good. Had a great career for Barcelona and Brazil. Um, really good. Obviously, he did himself no favours with the dive against Turkey where the guy kicked the ball, it hit him in the leg and he went down holding his face. Um, but yeah, looking forward to having Rivaldo. Gerard, I remember this guy turning into an absolute beast as well. Uh, six caps for Spain at the age of 22. Good stats. Looking like he's going to be absolutely superb. Yeah, looking forward to keeping him in. Danny, and like attacking field behind the striker role in forward centre. Good stats. Again, Barcelona had some... They had a real mix of players and no one really 
on the right hand side of midfield. Only Giovanni and Babangida so far. I guess Luis Enrique could play there. Javier Saviola. Someone we are definitely keeping hold of in this save. Acceleration 20, agility 20, determination 20. Dribbling 16, finishing 16, pace 18. Positioning 13, off the ball 17. Technique 18, work rate 17, teamwork 17, stamina 17. He's the striker everybody wanted in this save. He turns out to be incredible. He's a goal scorer, a pure goal scorer in the save. And then up front with him we could have Alfonso, 28, Spanish. Probably look to move him on and get uh, the Tomadera or the, the you know, those sorts of players. Tomadera, jo uh, John? Who the hell's John? Zolo Makoku. Um, not John Macken, I'm not bringing him in. Patrick Cliver as well, tw only 25 when he was at Barcelona. Very, very good player looking forward. I mean, Pat Cliver and Saviola is like a dream strike force. It's something that I have like wet dreams about. In the B team, um, Okunowu, I'm pretty sure turns to be pretty good as well. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing if we can get him involved at a right back position. Any other names that jump out at us? Um, Marcelo, who isn't the left back Marcelo, but I thought he was someone that turned good off. He doesn't. Um, Thiago Motta, 18 year old Brazilian Italian. We know that he had a very good career going forward. Santa Maria. Um, no, he doesn't look like he's going to amount to much. Roberto, I don't think he really turned into much either. Olegier, I sort of remember that name. Sort of remember that name. But I'm not too sure. So you'll have to, you guys will have to let me know what you think about this, what you think we should invest in, where, and how how do you think we're going to do? What formation should we play? Who should we go and buy? I mean, the, as I said, the first thing I want to do is go and look at Tom Madeira. I've obviously spelled that wrong. Madeira. Madeira. Tom Madeira, there he is, at Gouve because he gets snapped up very, very quickly. And I think. I think you can buy him for 2k. I mean, we'll go with 4k. We're going to continue on just hopefully one day. Saturday the 4th. Right, we're in the 5th. Right, stop that. Um, I don't do my squad numbers just yet. I, although I won't be able to do it until I won't be able to continue until I've done that. So, can we look at the rules in the Spanish first division? I don't think we can. I just want to see how many players we can play that are like non-EU and if there's any rules like that. But there's got to be a way to see the rules of the league. I mean, did it not, did it not exist? Did, did that sort of tab not exist back then? I mean, um, can we see competitions, Spain, competitions, Spain, first division. No, it just takes you to the same screen. Hmm. Fixtures. Fixtures. I need someone that doesn't have a friendly, I guess. Is there going to be anybody that doesn't have a... Ah, Real... Ah, Alves don't have a friendly. Next match. Here we go. I found a way. I cheated the system. Max three non-EU players in the squad. Okay, so it's the same rules as the UK. At the moment, what do we think? View... Is there any way to look at nat nationality? There we go. So Argentinian, but he has a second nationality of Italy. Saviola is just Argentinian. Giovanni, no second nationality. Rivaldo, he must have a second nationality. No, no. No second nationality for Rivaldo. So he's going to be a foreign player. Russian back. Um, I always thought he had a second nationality, and that's why you could buy him. Ah, okay. Um, and that's it. I think everybody else is... Oh, and obviously Babangida, Nigerian, doesn't have a second nationality. Everyone else is EU. So, that's a very good point. Did it say foreign or non-EU? Non-EU. Okay, that's okay. So we can buy as many EU players as we want. Let's just do um, clear. We'll submit that. Yes. We'll do squad numbers on the first day. First game of the season. I just want to see if we can... There we go. So, um, you get... That you always get this. I can remember reading this the first time and being like, oh my god, what does this mean? What does this mean in the game? It's just the Bosman ruling. So we know that is hands down in football folklore now. That's what that is. Uh, £4,000 for Tomadera. A decent young player. Let's just get you in whatever you want. I'll tell you what, we'll give you a little bit of pay. Can we give you... Can we get this to... Two... Two that... Two thousand. One thousand nine hundred. That's what you're going to get. 
Uh, bonuses, well, I, you know, if you score a goal, we'll give you ninety pounds. How about that? Um, we'll give you the longest possible contract we can. And actually, because we're giving you a huge long contract, have two thousand one hundred pounds a week. Right, we're just gonna. Are we going to continue on? The other one I said I might have to, and we can cancel these if you guys don't think they're good enough. That's not going to help me, is it? West is going to be loads. Let's search for Torivo. Torivo West, no club. Has he got lots of people interested in him? Um, no, I'll tell you what, we're going to leave it there. We're going to leave the first episode there. We've looked at the club, and we've gone and put a bid in for Tomadera. Um, but yeah, hopefully you're enjoying it. Hopefully you've enjoyed this little intro to Barcelona. Again, I apologise. I couldn't be every single club obviously that you want to do but if we you know get bored with Barcelona or we want to move on or we want to start another game later on in the, in, in the future then I've got a list of teams Rangers, Liverpool, Arsenal, Valencia, Leverkusen you know they're all good teams to be so we'll leave it there thank you very much for watching guys I hope you're excited for the new Champ Manager 0102 series on the channel but for now I'm out cheers